What a difference a day makes, 24 hours on the road. Yeah, this is both sides of the pond and, uh, yeah. This is uh, a bit of a difference from yesterday. I had a lovely sunny day, it was a good day to drive. Today it's persistently rainy here in Montana on I-90. Got this truck in front of me and we seem to be doing exactly the same speed. We keep having to drop back, I'm about half a mile in an hour faster than here, but it takes too long to get past him, so I keep having to drop back. Pain the butt, but what can you do? Yeah, so yesterday was interesting. After I spoke to you, we uh, had a bit of a traffic stop. What happened was some idiot, and I don't know how we managed to do it because it was a straight road in broad daylight, but some idiot managed to drive off the road, hit a electrical pole, and knock it down. The wire went across, electrical cables went across both east and westbound on 90 and closed the whole road down for two and a half hours. So that was a pain. But um, when I was taking my CDL course, when I decided to get into trucking, I always do research. So what I did was I went on to YouTube and looked at some of the truckers' blogs. And one of them, that kind of, I used to watch a lot more. I mean, the guy used to post every day, and he was interesting, and I picked up a few tips from him. It was JVG Travels. And uh, used to watch all of his videos, quite interesting. Picked up the theories, the ideas, the techniques, just from watching YouTube. And uh, so, anyway, why are you telling me this, you ask? Well, yesterday, while we were stopped in the traffic, people were talking around the CB, it's usually the only time anybody does speak on the CB. And there he was, I heard that voice. I said, I recognize that voice, that sounds like the guy from YouTube. And uh, so I asked him, and it was, and I got to meet the guy. Eventually, I, you know, I kind of pulled next to him and shook his hands and said hi. And uh, nice guy, so that was pretty interesting. For me, it was, yes, indeed. It was probably enormously interesting for him as well. So what can I say? But uh, yeah, this bloody weather is, a pain in the butt. It's starting to get light now, so it's not as bad. But still, I prefer going through the mountains in nice sunny days, enjoying the scenery. But oh, what can you do? My delivery, third is in the morning at 8 o'clock. I've still got 575 miles left. I go uh, 9 hours and 50 minutes of drive time left on the clock today, so no problem. I'll haul up short in, a, in a, hopefully a flying James. I want to get a shower today, but I stayed in a lovely, really pretty um, rest area last night. It was gorgeous, very nice indeed. And unfortunately, we had no signal, so no data. Couldn't watch uh, this football game or anything. And obviously, Sunderland got beat yesterday 2-0, so their dreams of a, a premier position, yeah, that was easy for me to say, had gone dead and buried. That's a shame, but I think the, the team's too young to be thrown into the Lions' den. Definitely a little bit too young. Another a year to, to mature, to strengthen, and uh, next year I think we'll do well. They need some height. And uh, the, we, need, we need a striker, I mean, we've got a great striker, but he's, he's, he's made of glass. He gets injured, he's out for three, four, five months, comes back, plays a few games, scores goals, and I say, like, oh, he's so glad he's back, and then he gets injured again. So, played with injuries this year, and to actually get in the playoff positions was, was pretty amazing. So, oh well, next year, I think the team really um, fought above their own weight. And did really well next year. I think the team will be a little bit strong. It's a very young team. And uh, see what goes on. So, anyway, I'm going to.
to concentrate on my driving and uh, hopefully it'll stop raining at some point. But who knows? Both sides of the pond. Alan, that's my name. Hit subscribe and follow me, please. You can also like the video, it helps. Have a good day.